and welcome to the show. We start this week's Faris episode with Femi Winters on the Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, they are going for a speed run with their Camaro. The thing is, while you can get to quite high speed in this area, the stopping part is rather difficult. The plan to use some containers doesn't really work. Apparently, at over 300 kilometers an hour, you can just face through the containers, while the concrete wall will stop the car and everything. There is another problem. You see, when... When you have phased through the containers, there's no way back out again. Uh, you, down this end, where you think there might be a little gap at the end, nope, that wall just kind of curves back in. There is some gaps between the containers, which we can go and have a bit of an investigate of, but the problem is, as you can see, there are more containers down there, so even if you, if you get between them, you get stuck. And at the other end, well, you've guessed it. Yeah, there's a wall there. So, it does kind of work for a speed run. However, <laughs> yeah, facing through, facing through the edge of the map, probably not the best way to go from all of that. Uh, we move next on to a set of Corsa with some high-speed uh, racing in the tunnel. There's a bunch of uh, kind of supercars and whatnot uh, going on here. Now, there is a corner at the end of this tunnel. The car we're riding on board with cannot quite get slowed down in time. Collects the Porsche. They both have an accident. The McLaren behind has an accident before it got to this one. And then the car further back, well, that turns up with even more speed, bounces off the wall and is having a tremendous shunt. That's... Uh, <laughs> I mean, not only did it have a massive hit on the wall, rolled down the tunnel and got spat out of the tunnel, all the wheels were basically flailing around, falling off. It was a bad day for the Lamborghini. I think the Porsche was the only one that was going to make that. Uh, yeah, apparently that corner, very tricky. Uh, Trash Panda is up next on uh, F199 Challenge with the Formula 1 car. This wants a grip roll. I mean... He got to appreciate. It's not the most ridiculous roll we've ever seen, but I do appreciate a good grip roll on a curb. It turns in. It's a perfectly sensible line, and over we go. Yeah, maybe don't hit the curb quite so hard. Our factor. We're sticking with open wheelers in this one that just. Well, I say wants to go to space. Not really f the fault of the car that we are following here. Uh, because, while well, it, it was a very spectacular ping. As they're running through the corner, the vehicle ahead lags slightly. And there's so little you can do about something like that. It just lags back into uh, the car. Uh, it's got no time to react. You can't get on the brakes. You can't stop. It's a big flight and a very big accident. Not the only one having some big flights and big accidents. C91 on State of Decay 2. Now, I've seen weird stuff happen on this game. But uh, <laughs> the police car wants to go for the many rolls. doesn't ping off into space. Just plenty of rolls for them. Uh, Lupin the Wicked up next on Need for Speed Unbound. Uh, while it's not the player in the police car this time, never fear, for the Fair Race Police Department is always around. Now, first of all, the punt on the Corvette is quite funny. The, the player does fall in the drink. The next bit, though, two cars manage to miss, the Ford manages to push their friend in the water, and then freaks out, almost landing on top of a building before falling in the water as well. Yeah, the Fair Race Police Department are not the best, it is safe to say. Uh, Burnout Perth is up next on Construction Simulator, managing to dig away underneath their digger, and things go wrong doing that. Yep, who knew a digger could not only bounce, or fly I guess across, it then bounced off the other side of the pit and twisted itself back towards where it started. It's a good flight. Some some bonus points for gymnastics right there, I think, for the excavator. Uh, an alarmed cat is up next on Destroy All Humans 2, with the bus that's ignoring all laws of physics. Yep. I mean, I know the game... I actually know the game not set in the future, is it? What am I talking about? Um... Hover buses are a thing, apparently, now. The shadow looks very weird as well, because it's not supposed to be over there. Uh, but yeah, there is a new there is a new London hover bus. Uh, RC Cookie is up next on BeamNG Drive. Now they are running a race against some AI cars. It's to the inside of the 800 series. Quite a good overtake, sensible overtake. Uh, however, as you go for the overtake on the window, but cannot quite get far enough alongside, bump the AI car, it spins off a tree, and, well, I guess it's calmer. The, you know, it was a pass that was not quite on, that did not quite go to plan, and the, uh, yeah, Wendover had an accident, managing to land perfectly on top of the cover and not really be able to move off of the cover. It's a wonderfully silly crash, and the cover gets stuck as well in all of this. Yeah. 
dicey overtake. Uh, <laughs> it's one way to do one way to do penalties, shall we say? Red Hill is up next on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now they are coming in to a land uh, in a, you know rather picturesque sunset going on here when I think things go wrong. I don't quite know what things go wrong because the plane's not even really got to the ground at the point where well everything's broken. Yeah, that's. I'm no expert, but that's not supposed to happen whatsoever. Uh, in fact, if anything, it looks like they are going through a horror film and have found a portal to hell. Uh, in fact, that might well be what has happened to this plane uh, with the weird lighting and everything that's going on there. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is. It fades in and out of blackness and weirdness, and yeah, it's. Uh... <laughs> It's all a lot glitchy. It's all a lot weird, and I think it's trying to reset. Is what the fate like? What, how, why it's fading to black and so on? It does eventually stop resetting itself, and when they can load up a map of sorts, you can, it's the, the weird, bad things are happening that are not supposed to be happening to a plane. It's kind of just spinning around like a lunatic underground. And, yeah, I think it's found a portal to hell with. Uh, yeah, with a jumbo jet. So, yeah, maybe, maybe be a little bit concerned about that landing. Uh, so, yeah. But finally, we have uh, Starkey on Flat Out 2, has, who has found a novel way of beating the AI. Yes, you see, it turns out if you hide behind this hill, the AI will go and try and take you out. But not being very smart, will just jump. And the jump there is big, so by the time the cars hit the ground, especially by the looks of it, was much later on in the derby, and the cars get destroyed on the landing. I like the, I like the planning right there. I like the planning. Very clever use of derpy AI. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via a Google form. There'll be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works uh, can be found on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time... Uh, yeah, goodbye.